let's talk about the difference between a client-side header bidding versus server-to-server -server or S2S header bidding. In client-side, ad calls are happening in the user's browser. In short, for every bidder or ad network that you add, it also triggers an additional call every time the user loads the page. And because browsers have limited ports, it slows down page load because there are too many bidders trying to go through at once. Imagine like a one lane road with a traffic jam, all these different cars trying to get through all at once. In general, once you have seven or more bidders or ad networks set up for your header bidding, that's when it starts taking a toll on your page load. So here, publishers will have to find the sweet spot between the number of bidders while protecting their user experience. Server to server, on the other hand, the auction happens in a third party server instead of the user's browser. And calls are made in real time to all these different bidders. And since this has a lot of different ports and not constrained by a small number of ports, unlike in a user's browser, then more ad calls at once can be accommodated. Imagine that now you have four different lanes instead of a single lane that can accommodate a lot of cars to go through at once. Here, publishers can choose as many bidders as they want to run in their auction. But let's discuss some of the drawbacks if you're running server to server. Number one is cookie matching. In the client side, the cookies are stored in the browser, which then is sent directly to the programmatic bidders or and networks. In S2S, auction is not in a browser, but in a third party server. So it makes it difficult to sync the user identity with these programmatic bidders. And that is very essential in a programmatic auction. It makes it harder for publishers to monetize their site, especially if these programmatic partners don't have the ability to identify the other side or the other end. Next drawback is less transparency. On the client side header bidding, the codes are open source, which means anyone can access the codes, check for any impropriety. In S2S, it's like a black box where publishers are unable to confirm tech partners, revenue share fees, the logic of the structures. But pre-bid from AppNexus, we released a new technology that allows for open source server-to-server -server header bidding, which means publishers are also now able to look at the code made available to them. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tips. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks. We'll catch you next time.